Hallo, und da bin ich wieder. Was tun wir, um Gottes Willen? Lange einsamer Heimweg. Anhalten. Haben wir. Geht nicht. Ah, neuen Platz freischalten. Aha. Egal, was haben wir hier jetzt? Ja. <lacht> <lacht> mhm. Reiche Leute sind gebildet. Kann ich mit ihr noch mal reden? Good. What can I help you with? Mhm. Scheint mir klug zu sein. Ich brauche jemanden, der mir die ungeschminkte Wahrheit über diese Realität sagt, in der wir uns befinden. This reality. Yes, reality is your side case. <coughs> An experimental side case. Mhm. Das hat mit mir jetzt nicht ein Problem zu tun. Selbst an die grundlegenden Begriffe der Realität kann ich mich erinnern. Ah, yes, the episode. Sounds like an acute case of encephalopathy, now that I think of it. Mm hmm. Don't be faith, madame. He functions perfectly well. He only needs a low down on all of reality. We may be here a while then. Ask away, officer. I'll help however I can. Okay. All right. We're in. I know these all look good, but begin with the first, okay? Mm hmm. We're in Martinez, baby. Martinez is a district of Revachol. Mm -hmm. A very small district tucked away near the industrial harbor, north of the 881 and Jamrock. You would be excused for not knowing about it. Unimportant, they say. Forgotten, even. Shelled to smithereens during the revolution. It has its charms, just not this time of year. Sie haben ein Meer erwähnt. Was für ein Meer ist das? It's not really a sea. It's the Bay of Revachol. And the bay feeds into the ocean. Ist der in der Nähe? Yes. We are on an island in an ocean. The world's largest body of water. The Insulindic. Okay. Also es ist definitiv irgendwie nicht unsere Welt. Aber es ist etwas, was unsere Welt hätte sein können. Known to the early Revacholians as Les Immensités Bleues. The blue immensities. Mm -hmm. Caillou, as you already know. Imagine a pebble. <coughs> a smoothed over pebble amidst a great blue sea. Misshapen, cracked. The cracks are the river Esperance. We're in the delta of this river on the sixth branch. The Martinez distributary. Was ist mit Martinez? I'm not a good ambassador. I've only been here once before. As a mm -hmm. teenager. Not a lot has changed. There are ruins, a terminal, fishing boats, reeds, boys with boxy shoulders. <laughs> boys with boxy shoulders? This place used to be a province, mm -hmm. a workers' resort before the city swallowed it and the artillery did its work. The okay. reeds are the real yeah. star of the show here now. The further down the coast, the wilder it gets. Mhm. Ähm, was wäre, das wäre Martinez. Was ist mit Revachol? Revachol? Revachol is what you call a city. Und was für eine? The great kind. Und wieso? History detective. They built this city to resolve history. Our part in it, at least. Our centuries. Mhm, wer? The nations of the Occident. Or migrant workers from Seminine and Il Mara, depending on your creed. Wann? In the Delorean century. 380 years ago. Und warum wird sie der Geschichte Herr werden? They say it's where the terrible questions of our time will be answered. The tensions are highest, the fault lines deepest. Okay. By that I mean conflicts. Ideological conflicts. Wieso hier? We are standing on a fertile, self-sufficient island, <lacht> able to sustain up to 200 million people in the middle of the Insulindic Ocean. 
The world's connective tissue. It's where the money is. Also befinden wir uns entweder in einem unbedeutenden Teil eines bedeutenden Ortes oder wir befinden uns praktisch im Zentrum der Welt. Oh, we're quite a way off. About. A collection of tall ghosts behind the water vapor. Light reflecting off their glass windows. Okay. 22 kilometers from the center of the world. That soldering iron is the bank of the world building. The bottom floors are Insiacom. Coalition government in Silindian Mission Command. Okay. Silence. She lowers her hand. The water, the light. It's as though you're seeing it for the first time. Oh God. There is no recognition. Only the immensity of the sea and the cold radiating from it. We are where we are. I have no truer answer to give, unfortunately. <coughs> This is one thought you need to complete. Where are you? Was there something else you wanted to know? I remember something about a lowdown. Yeah. This has been informative. Thank you, man. I'm sure my memory impaired partner has many more questions to ask about even more fundamental aspects of reality. Mm -hmm. Might I suggest not asking them all right now? Ma'am, Monsieur will be here later too, and tomorrow. Isn't that true, ma'am? Absolutely. My commitment here is long term. Aber es ist nicht faul von mir, wenn ich nicht alle Fragen stelle. Oh, of course not. You are already diligent for getting this far. And diligent boys remember where they left off. Indeed. I'm always at your service. Glad to have been of assistance. The little that I know. Mhm. Anything else? Was ist denn mit diesem Drogenschmuggel? It's quite straightforward. Someone is using Terminal B to smuggle raw ingredients from the Samaran Isola into Revachol with the Union's blessing. Wild Pines has suspected it for years. Mhm. Ingredients for what, man? Meth and dextroamphetamine, GBL and various synthetic psychedelics. Honestly, it might be quick to say what you can't make from the stuff. Mhm. Damit ich das richtig verstehe, die Rohstoffe gelangen durch die Ladestation aus Samara nach Rivaschol. Yes. Mhm. After they clear the terminal, we lose track. The actual production is taking place at various sites in and around Jamrock Quarter, north of here. Mhm. Wild Pine seems to be well apprised of the local drug trade, man. Do you mean to say the Union also produces the product? Sells drugs, I mean? Yeah. We're in logistics. It's our business to know. And no. As far as the company knows, the Union does not produce it. They transport the ingredients for a cut. Und wir wollen, und sie wollen, dass wir der Sache Grund Yes, gehen. but you won't get anything out of Evrat and the Dock Workers Union. Still, every chain has its weak link. <lacht> the handoff. The motor lorries at the roundabout. Precisely. Someone needs to move the ingredients from the harbor into the city. Mm -hmm. Once they reach Jamrock, they're distributed to a network of local manufacturers well beyond our grasp. But in transit, they are vulnerable. Okay. How convenient that they're stranded like beached whales at that roundabout. Perhaps you've noticed that a number of lorries are tangled in a traffic jam mm -hmm. at the roundabout just now. Interview the drivers who are still hanging about. One of them might be waiting for a crucial shipment. Her irises are light green, like the river Esperance in bright daylight, <laughs> upstream where it's clearer. I'll be explicit. If you find this driver, I will share company secrets with you. Okay. Uncovering Union secrets could also give you an upper hand when dealing with them. Warum haben, haben sie sich nicht früher an die BMR gewandt? We did. On more than one occasion. Apparently there's some sort of interprecinct disagreement about whose jurisdiction this area falls under. Mm -hmm. We know the company has launched its own probe into the union's alleged involvement. We also know it's gone up empty. It's not just the RCN. No one's been able to find any hard evidence. Mm -hmm. Well, 
Here's your chance, officers. Es ist kein Zufall, dass die Lastwagen dort gestrandet sind, oder? No. We asked East Motor Track to raise the drawbridge. The road company is a partner of one of our subsidiaries. However, this is a limited time opportunity. Once the complaint has been processed by the trade committee, they'll have no choice but to lower the drawbridge. And the operation will continue. Thousands of liters of raw ingredients will pour onto the streets of Revachol. Not the east across the river, but the west. The vulnerable. The weary. Well, at least this solves one mystery. Genau. What is that, Lieutenant? Why I had to call East Motor Track and beg them to open a drawbridge for me. I'd wonder since I first drove in on my motor carriage. Aha. I am sorry for the inconvenience, Lieutenant <coughs> Kisaraki, but we need them trapped here. This is a unique opportunity. I'm sure you understand. Welche Beweise haben Sie dafür, dass die Gewerkschaft in diese Sache verstrickt ist? How do you think they're financing this strike? There are thousands of unpaid dock workers going strong for the fourth month straight. There was a shakedown of local businesses preceding the strike. Many were squeezed to bankruptcy to fund it. Das reicht nicht. With all due respect to these desert cacti, the contents of a few cash registers cannot provide for 2,000 men. The local businesses can scarcely provide for themselves. Mhm, mm genau. Precisely. Smuggled out of that very gate at night, most likely. Then loaded onto lorries and driven to Jamrock. You simply need to find one driver who will open up to you. Mhm, mm okay, ich habe über die Schmuggelermittlung nachgedacht. Yes. Wir übernehmen den Fall und befragen die Fahrer. Mal sehen, was dabei rauskommt. So. Excellent. According to my reports, there are at least three lorry drivers lingering near the roundabout. Hopefully one of them will know something. Mm -hmm. It may come to nothing, or it may just blow the case wide open. I can keep the drive <coughs> just for a few more days at least. Mm -hmm. You should have the time you need. In the okay. meantime, let me know if there's any other way I may be of assistance. Sie können, was können Sie mir über diesen Streik erzählen? Everything. Right up to, but not including, trade mm -hmm. secrets. Was ist genau Ihre Rolle? I believe the official title is Senior Labor Negotiator. In practice, I'm a grocery clerk. I relay the union's demands to Wild Pines and return with Wild Pines counteroffer. Uh -huh. No way. She's more. She can make decisions. And how are the talks going? They're not. That's the problem. The union stopped all negotiations a week ago, after that awful lynching took place. Oh, uh -huh. wait. She just admitted that the lynching and the strike are connected. Now they won't even let me into the harbor. There's a two meter twenty racist behemoth blocking the gates. Aha. Uh -huh. What can I say? The union employs a giant covered in tattoos. A racist giant. I guess that's part of their big tent organization now. Mm -hmm. Es gibt also einen Zusammenhang. Yes, I believe there is a connection. But that's a subject for later. Mm -hmm. Wie liefen Gespräche vor dem Lynchmord? Let's say I was not making the kind of progress <coughs> I'd hoped for when I first arrived. And when did you first arrive? Mm -hmm. I arrived three weeks ago. Yes, in the middle of February. The bay was still partially frozen then. I prefer to do these things on site, like the RCM. Okay. But the strike began in December. I wasn't the original negotiator here. I took over after Mr. Gaumont hit a wall with Mr. Clare, the union boss. Mr. Clare refused to speak with Gaumont despite concessions he'd granted the union in prior negotiations. This isn't the first time the union has gone on strike? Heavens no. There have been two prior strikes. Both times, the union won significant <coughs> concessions, including overtime pay and a medical plan. This time, their demands are more, I guess you could say, aggressive. Mm -hmm. Ludicrous, even. It's meant. Was ist diesem Gumorgo Mr. Clare told him to... How did he put it? Fuck off, midget. Gaumont is short of stature, you see. Nicht cool. Keep in mind, this is a negotiator Mr. Clare has worked with before, and who was more than fair with him and the union. Was fordert die Gewerkschaft? There are leaflets everywhere and banners. 
What did they say again? Oh yes, every worker, a member of the board. Uh huh. Most Tired. of the workers probably don't know what that means. Extrem aggressives Comigetour. In its defense, another said, "Demand democracy." Pretty tame stuff compared to every worker, a member of the board. Die meisten wissen nicht, was es bedeutet. Fortunately, they explained it. Every time the Wild Pines Group makes a decision about anything, it needs the signature of each of the 2,200 workers Für in its Martinez terminal. Just so you understand, this is but one of 22 terminals owned by Wild Pines. Essentially, not only are they kings of the company, they are also kings of the 72,000 employees of Wild Pines Group. Da, die, aber da können keine Könige sein. Der König ist tot. That may well be. It's not up to me to decide who is king, but as <lacht> negotiations go, it's not a swell start. Und was machst du jetzt? I'm not sure. Naturally, I assume that was just their opening position, a hard-nosed tactic with a side of mockery. But there's been no follow-up, just the same nonsensical slogan repeated over and over again. And now, people are getting lynched, I hear, behind the whirling in rags. A disastrous situation if there ever was one. Okay. Excuse me, from whom did you hear about this lynching? I first heard it from the boyer at the gates. The one whose very name advertises his aversion to work. I think he said it was, call me manana. This checks out. Mm -hmm. Die Streikbrecher am Tor haben sie da passiert. You mean the huddled masses of Jamrock come to plead for work where the union refuses to? Don't let her answer it herself. Nein, ich meine Streikbrecher. Nein, nennen wir sie Streikverweigerer. Sie haben diese Leute das passiert, oder? If the workers were organized by Wild Pines, then it would be a company secret. I could not share it with you. Not yet. It it's implied. She's open to discussing this matter with you at a later occasion. What is eigentlich mit Herrn Clare? Everard Clare is a man of the <coughs> utmost integrity. If you can say one thing about him, it's that he always puts the interests of the workers first. Jetzt echt? Of course not. Everard huh? is fantastically corrupt. I imagine he has a thick <coughs> where you and I have blood. Mm, schmieriger Schleim. If you were to prick it with something sharp, you could see it oozing out. A knife maybe? No, a rapier. Sie klingen, als wären sie im Begriff, ihn mit einem Rapier zu attackieren. Oh heavens no. We get along just fine. Yet yeah, now that you mention it, I can't stop imagining that black treacle. Just dribbling down his double chin. Is that so schlimm? He is the most corrupt individual I have ever seen, and I deal with men like him for a living. If there is anyone more venal, more irredeemably nepotistic, then it's his twin brother, Edgar. Ach, zwei. Yes. Edgar looks exactly like his brother, except for that lazy eye. He also talks exactly like Everard does. And when one's term as foreman is up, the other takes over. Oh, it's how they circumvent the term limits, you see, with a funny little switcheroo. While in office, they've embezzled God knows how much of their workers' dues. Well, um, was ist denn mit der Gewerkschaft an sich? Sie besteht auch nicht, dass sie Ja, genau. The Daybarders Union was once a perfectly normal institution. 20 years ago, anyway. It must not have been easy to establish under the Emergency Act. But they did it. I can respect that. Organize labor at its best, as they say. Then something happened in the local chapter elections. The brothers Claire came and transformed it into a... How do you say? Mm -hmm. A mob. The debardeurs are a crime syndicate. Sad as it may be, I suspect we'll be forced to cooperate with them. Refreshingly honest, officer. Mm -hmm. The company has tried appeasing in the past, but I'm afraid our concessions have only emboldened Everard and his brother. And your opinion, detective? 
if I may ask. I'm a curious and talkative person, you see. Would you say the Debardeurs Union is... Ich halte sie für einen riesigen Blutigel, der Revat Scholl das Leben aussorgt. Indeed. And a hungry one. 